Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the preceding video, we learnt the fluorobutyrophenones type of antipsychotic drugs. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. To watch the other topics of antipsychotic drugs and medicinal chemistry, click on the links given right below this video. In this lesson, we shall discuss the beta amino ketones and benzamides types of antipsychotic agents and the drugs molindone and sulpiride of their respective categories. We will start the lesson with an introduction to beta amino ketones. It has been observed that several beta amino ketones in particular manage bases of pyrrole ketones show pronounced neuroleptic like actions. One of the most potent compounds belonging to this class is molindone. Molindone has general properties similar to those of chlorpromazine. The chlorpromazine hydrochloride is used orally in the treatment of psychosis given by intramuscular injection in acute conditions. The overall structural features associated with the activity can be seen in the structure of molindone. In addition to the beta amino ketone group, there must be an aryl group positioned as in molindone. It might be conjectured that the proton on the protonated amino group in these compounds hydrogen bonds with the electrons of the carbonyl oxygen atom. This would produce a cationic center, two atom distance and an aryl group that could be superimposed on the analogous features of protonated dopamine. Let us learn more about malindone. Malindone is a derivative of indole. It is sometimes described as a typical antipsychotic and sometimes described as an atypical antipsychotic drug. It is a dihydroindolone compound which is not structurally related to phenothiazines, the butyrophenones or the thioxanthines. It is chemically 3-ethyl, 2-methyl, 5-morpholine, 4-ile-methyl, 1567-tetrahydroindole 4-ohn. It is about as potent an antipsychotic as trifluoperazine. Overall, side effects resemble those of the phenothiazines. Molindone is synthesized by the condensation of cyclohexane 1,3-dione with oxyminoketone which is obtained from nitrosation of 3-pentanone in the presence of zinc and acetic acid solution which forms an unstable intermediate in amino ketone which itself isomerizes to an imine. It is assumed that conjugate addition of the amine to cyclohexane 1,3-dione followed by elimination of hydroxide in the form of water would give enamino ketone. This enamine is tatomerized to imine at equilibrium conditions. Aldol condensation of the side chain carbonyl group with the doubly activated ring methylene group would result in cyclization of pyrrole ring. Managed reaction of indole with morpholine and formaldehyde yields the desired compound molindone. Molindone is a solid white crystalline powder and has melting point at 180.5 degrees centigrade. It is freely soluble in water and alcohol. Molindone works by blocking the effects of dopamine in the reticular limbic systems of the brain leading to diminished symptoms of psychosis. This decreased dopamine activity results in decreased physiological effects normally induced by excessive dopamine stimulation such as those typically seen in manifestations of psychic disorders. It has much lower affinity for D2 receptors than most antipsychotic agents and has a relatively low affinity for D1 receptors. It has only low to moderate affinity for cholinergic and alpha adrenergic receptors. Malindone is sold under the brand name Moban. It is a conventional antipsychotic drug used in the treatment of schizophrenia. Now coming to benzamides type of antipsychotic agents. Similar to the phenothiazine antiemetics, for example promethazine, certain benzamide derivatives such as metoclopramide antagonize dopamine D2 type receptors in the chemoreceptor trigger zone of the brainstem and have a neuroleptic activity. Metoclopramide is an efficacious antiemetic drug that modifies gastric motility but it is not clinically effective for psychosis. Its antagonism on D2 receptors in myenteric motor neurons increases acetylcholine release to result in a prokinetic effect on the gastrointestinal tract. Metoclopramide also binds to the serotonin 5-hydroxytryptamine 3 
and four receptors with low affinity and these systems also are proposed to account for its effects to lower esophageal sphincter tone and stimulate anthral and small intestine contractions making it useful to treat gastroesophageal reflux disease and to promote gastric emptying. Several analogues of metoclopramide in which the side chain is incorporated into a pyrrolidine ring include sulpiride and remoxipride. Both drugs display neuroleptic properties. Sulpiride produces a relatively low incidence of extrapyramidal side effects putatively because of a preferential effect on limbic versus extrapyramidal tissue. The hydrophilic properties of sulpiride may account for its poor oral absorption, limited penetration into the central nervous system and resulting low potency. The racemic para-amino congener of sulpiride known as amisulpiride which is used as an antipsychotic agent outside the United States. Remoxipride was a promising neuroleptic drug that is comparable to haloperidol in potency and efficacy and has less incidence of extrapyramidal and autonomic side effects. Life-threatening aplastic anemia was reported with remoxipride use which prompted its withdrawal from the market. It was hoped that the benzamide group might yield compounds with diminished extrapyramidal symptoms liability. This expectation appears to have been met. A hydrogen bond between the amido hydrogen and the unshared electrons of the methoxyl group to generate a pseudo ring is considered important for antipsychotic activity in these compounds. Presumably, when the protonated amine is superimposed on the protonated dopamine, this pseudo ring would superimpose on dopamine's aromatic ring. These features can be seen both in sulipiride and remoxipride. The benzamide neuroleptics including sulpiride, amisulpiride and sultopride have been shown to activate the endogenous gamma hydroxybutyrate receptor in vivo at therapeutic concentrations. Let's learn an individual drug sulpiride of benzamides class. Sulpiride was discovered in 1966 and first appeared in published literature in 1967. It is a substituted benzamide derivative. It is chemically N1-ethyl-2-pyrrolidinyl-methyl-2-methoxy-5-sulfamoyl benzamide or 5 sulfamoyl n one ethyl pyrrolidine 2 ile methyl 2 methoxy benzamide It is a enalkyl pyrrolidine, a sulfonamide and a member of benzamides. It has a role as an antidepressant, an antiemetic, an antipsychotic agent and a dopaminergic antagonist. The drug is chemically and clinically similar to amisulpiride. Sulpiride can be synthesized from 5-amino-sulfosalicylic acid. Methylating 5-amino-sulfosalicylic acid with dimethyl sulfate gives 2-methoxy-5-amino-sulfonyl benzoic acid which is transformed into an amide using 2-amino-methyl-1-ethyl-pyrrolidine as the amine component and carbonyl bis imidazole as a condensating agent. Sulpiride is a white or almost white solid crystalline powder having melting point at 178 degrees centigrade. It is practically insoluble in water and it is slowly absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract. Sulpiride is a selective dopamine D2, D3 and 5-hydroxytryptamine 1A receptor antagonist. In silico studies shows that Sulpiride may interact with the aspartic acid 119 and phenylalanine 417 amino acid residues of these receptors. It is estimated that D2 receptors should be 65 to 80 percent occupied for optimal treatment and minimal adverse effects. It is sold under the brand name Dogmatil. It is used mainly in the treatment of psychosis associated with acute and chronic schizophrenia and major depressive disorder and sometimes used in low dosage to treat anxiety and mild depression. It has been used therapeutically as an antidepressant, antipsychotic and as a digestive aid. Many of these drugs may also be effective against nausea, emesis and pruritus. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the beta amino ketones and benzamides type of antipsychotic drugs. With this, we end the topic of antipsychotic agents. I will come up with a new topic in the next lesson. 
till then never stop learning and never stop watching my videos thank you for watching this video